Hey y'all, welcome to Consignment Chats. This is episode 176. Podcasters, did you know? Wait, 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 wait. Resellers, did you? Wait a minute. I gotta ask everybody. Did you guys know? Did you ladies know something? Did you know? Did you know about it? I well, I know a there. lot of stuff. Did you know that we do lives? Yeah, we do. How often? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to take this episode, y'all, and we are going to tell you about the lives that we do. But more than anything about them, we're going to tell you our why. There's a yes. reason why we do them. And that's what we want you as our sea chatters to understand why we do them and why we think they're valuable and why you need to not miss them. So let's break it down. I want to start with our monthly. We do it the first Wednesday of every month. Yeah. So, and these let's are all down. on YouTube, right? So I yeah. thought earlier today when we were talking about what kind of episode we're going to do, I thought, you know what? Our podcast listeners probably don't know a lot about what we're doing on YouTube because we're only really publishing it on YouTube. So yeah. yeah, if you want all of this, we do tutorials and all sorts of extra resources that require like a visual component. We do that on YouTube. So you may not, you're not going to see it on podcast. Um, so subscribe to the YouTube channel for the tutorials. Keep listening to our podcast because we know you're out there. We love it. Our numbers yes. are great and we so love your support. But if you want a little more, YouTube is the place for those visual tutorials. All right. Take it away, Molly. I'm sorry. You said that just as I took a drink of water. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> because, all right, for those of you that don't know, I am a huge, I am not a huge watcher of YouTube. However, I am an avid podcast listener. So the podcast listeners have a special place in my heart because that is how I absorb content and I love to listen to it. Um, so, yeah, I'm always watching out for the podcasters because because they're the, they're near and dear to my heart. Yeah, because I'm oh. one of you. Yeah. Oh, I hope podcast all, listeners. Oh yeah. God. <laughs> I hope they all have little heart signs floating around them right now. They're just feeling the love, the Libby love. We didn't forget so, about you. Let's talk about the value in our once a month live that we do. The, what what do we do that for? What do we see as so valuable for our sea chatters? Well, I gain value from it simply because I wasn't keeping up with my numbers every month. But Libby gets on there and she's like, I had this percentage on eBay and I did this on Poshmark this week and this is, or this month, and this is why I'm doing this. And I was like, I sold stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. So what we do so. is the month of previous month, the month in review, right? So yeah. at the beginning yeah. of, of a month, we look at the previous month and we talk about our percentages and, you know, trends we were seeing, maybe little things that happened, new things that maybe are in the world of selling and reselling. Um, all the things that happened that past month. Sometimes it's feedback that we get from a customer. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's a, a crazy story that we have to share about getting a particular item in or something new that we learned from somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we found an expert that taught us something that we had no idea about. Yeah. And to do it live is really cool because we get the feedback of like the right feedback. People can ask questions. People comment on how their previous month was as well, which is great to see. Like, you I know, if I'm that. complaining about Poshmark because that's never happened, uh, <laughs> you know, and it's only 6% of my sales. And she said only the comments. I did say only in this case. It is applicable in this case. And it's only 6% of my sales. And why am I putting all this work in? And then somebody pops in the comments and is like, well, this this month I was 55% of my sales. And we can kind of delve into that and see. So in that way, it's it's encouraging, I think. Mm -hmm. And just Well, and when you've shared that, you've yeah. learned from those that have the higher numbers, some tricks and tips that they were doing that you weren't doing. And then you implement them and pow. So yeah, I up. immediately go off of YouTube and start stalking their their channel, their stores, <laughs> and you know, see what they're doing right. If y'all don't feel yeah. safe right now, I don't I'm know why. Kidding. I'm I just kidding. Your channels, like you're kidding to some degree. 
Well, you you do like to check people out before we take advice from them. That is something. If somebody is giving me advice, yeah, absolutely, I will. Yes. I don't want to say stalk, but I will. I will vet their um, their numbers and stuff. Absolutely. Right. You don't want to take Which advice from somebody who doesn't really yeah. walk the walk, right? You want to know that they really right. know what they're talking about. Which is why we always say we put our stores in the in the on the show notes of every show we do, uh, so you can shop yeah. with us. Although, you know, if you want to shop with us, great. You're, but you're not our ideal customers. We get that. But it is yeah. so you can know who you're talking to. If you don't like the look of what we're doing, then, you know, maybe it's not, maybe it's not a good fit. So, you know, take yeah. maybe you like one thing we're doing and you, and you take a look at that and you say, oh, yeah, they really do know what they're talking about. Or, oh, I wouldn't do things quite like that. So you, you know what advice to take and what advice not to take. Yeah. I've also had people message me and they're like, hey, you should list that thing higher. Or why didn't you mention this about that thing? And I'm like, heck yeah, thank you. Let's <laughs> let's edit that. Thank you. Or why is that a picture of lasagna? Was it you that said you had a picture of lasagna one time in one of your listings? Like your dinner? Oh, it wasn't <laughs> you? Okay. I thought somebody had said that. I've had a picture of Nick's feet before in my listings. <laughs> <laughs> Where photo room forgot to take out a leg that was coming behind the mannequin. And oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we love these lives because we get to share that valuable information, but also because, as Libby was saying, our friends are in the comments and they're, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's interactive. We're actually able to discuss all these things with other resellers and it's just a ton of fun. So, yeah. That's our once yeah, a month, for sure. first Wednesday of every month. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, because yeah. I'm not the calendar girl. I just show up when I'm supposed to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And put your, you know, put your, let it encourage you to put your, you know, percentages together if you, if you are interested in that. I know it did that for Samantha. And that's mm -hmm. probably an important thing to know where you're, you know, where you're getting the return on your investment. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah. you know, when you do your numbers, sometimes they look a lot different than you, you think they are as you're going through the month. Yeah. I was a little shocked. Like I've been a little shocked at how low my um, my local selling and Shopify numbers have been. And oh. I felt like I was, you know, having a couple decent months there. And yeah, no, I wasn't. I wasn't at all. So it kind of lets me like look back at that and say, hey, if, you know, what am I reality smack you upside the head. Yeah, the little reality <laughs> That's what I'm talking right? about. The reality smack. Thank you, Molly. That's a much better way to say everything I just said in the past, like four paragraphs. <laughs> Thank those you. Are not, those are not brain sparkle, <laughs> sparkles. Those are just smacks. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. So, so what other kinds of lives do we do? We were doing this one for a while, but we recently have added two new lives that we should talk about. Let's talk about Friday night. Friday, Friday, Friday. TGIF. Whoop, whoop. Y'all. So Friday night, we we do it wait, every wait. Friday talk, night. Talk. Ignite. Talk. Giggle. Ignite. Friday. Yes. Friday. I was looking for a, I still don't have that memorized. So I was looking for a thing, uh, like a graphic or something. Up. I'm like, we got to have a graphic in here, right? It used to be in there. I don't know if it's I got there. that one down. It's Talk, giggle, ignite Fridays. Yes. That's Ooh. us. Go ahead, Samantha. Tell them what we do. So we do it every single Friday night. Um, sometimes, sometimes it's just one of us. And I really appreciate the people that are in there interacting and talking with me. Um, sometimes it's all of us. Most of the time it's all of us. And we're just in there just working. We're listing. We're hanging out. We're, you know, sometimes I'm working on social media posts. Sometimes we're crunching numbers. Most of the time we're listing. Uh, sometimes we have a drink with us. Like it's just a Friday night hangout, work together. We love to hear what other people are listing when they comment and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty chill and it's, yeah, it's really fun. It's and fun. it has made me a lot of money. Let's just say that. Well, yes, maybe not a lot of money. Yes. A couple yes, hundred dollars yeah. easily above and beyond what I would have made otherwise. Yes. That was my favorite Friday comments. night. Yes. Big time. Tell the story. Come on, Libby. All right. So I had this brooch. 
it looked like nothing. I had, I'm going to be honest, I had it priced at $12 free shipping, which is how I do any <laughs> non-spectacular brooch. Um, <laughs> so anyway, but part of my process is I, I put stuff in, I just photograph everything and I'll Google lens it because it's easier. It's already in the system. So I Google lensed it and I was like, wow, this looks super similar to this Trafari brooch, this signed Trafari brooch that was worth thousands of dollars. And so I did the authentication and I got in, there was definitely not a stamp anywhere on this brooch. Like I looked, I looked multiple times and I'm like, all right, well, you know, it's, it's nothing, the, 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 it was vintage. It was cool looking. It was called, if you guys look it up, it was called the Trafari fruit salad brooch. There's a, there's also a designer, a special collaborative designer that worked on it, which escapes me at the moment. But anyway, so the Google lens showed me it was very similar to this brooch, if not almost exact, except the um, the jewels on mine were acrylic, uh, whereas the other one was glass. The real one was glass. So, all right. So I listed twelve dollars free shipping, and we're doing the come the we're doing the TGIF thing, and I say to the people. Oh, look, I had this real big disappointment this week. And I popped up a picture of the brooch and I said, ah, this is really, you know, I thought I had this really good item. I was super excited that I was going to make a lot of money. And it was just like a real letdown. And in the comments, I think Char was the first one to say it. Like, you can still sell that for a good bit. And I was like, but it's acrylic. It's not signed. It's blah, blah, blah. And she goes, mm, I would put a good price on that. And I was like, all right. So I'm thinking like, 50 bucks, right? Like good price, 50 bucks. And her and Cam were in the comments and they're like, for about 350. And I was like, no, you guys are nuts. Like, I didn't tell them at that time that it was actually listed for $12 free shipping. <laughs> no, I was honestly not, like horribly, they were already all horribly embarrassed. Texting. Yeah. Horribly embarrassed. They were angry typing. <laughs> they were angry <laughs> typing like $350. <laughs> so, all right. So I was like, all right, well, I'm going to price it at two. 249, I think. So, <clears throat> I so let me interrupt there. it. Yeah, go ahead. Let me interrupt there. I'm going to, I'm going to put a little middle to this story. So okay. Libby revises it and lists it. So we go on our merry way that night and then we end our thing, say good night, whatever. I wake up the next morning and per my usual morning, I pick my phone up and I scroll through eBay and I immediately text Libby, holy brooch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It sold within a couple hours for the two forty nine price I put on it. So of course, Cam's immediate response is, "You should have said three forty nine. And I was like, "Well, <laughs> you know, true confessions." I had it priced to twelve free shipping. So, um, you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm there were a lot happy. of "I told you so"s the next couple of days. <laughs> so I told people, yeah. She was, was happy, great. and my guess is her consigner is extremely happy with that, too. Yes, so yes, she That's is. a win, win, win. Yes, so, she yeah. is. But I never, never in my wildest dreams ever would have priced an unsigned acrylic <laughs> lookalike brooch. Right? Anywhere near that. Crazy. Crazy. But, yeah. So, so now if you should listen in to on your people. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you tune in on Friday nights, um, you'll you will hear a lot of two fifty. Everything has to be two forty nine. Two fifty. <laughs> do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah. So that's our Friday night fun. I mean, it really is just not that I feel like everything we do is fun, right? Like we remind ourselves, yes, we do a lot of work. I mean, there's a lot of work behind you, the scenes. Yeah. Have you met us though? Like we're pretty fun. Yeah. But like so much this. of what we do, we just thought, <laughs> like, so Friday nights are our fun Friday nights. Yes, it's it's really not because we don't have a life. We do have lives, but we just <laughs> have so much fun together that we thought, let's do this on a Friday night and see how it goes. I mean, who else would you rather spend Friday night with? <laughs> come on. Come on. I mean, let's, like let's Spencer, sometimes we have cocktails. Yeah. Just depends, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. You know. mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had some cool people pop on and just some funny you know, funny comments that, that it's not talk giggle for nothing because we do a right. heck of a lot of giggling. <laughs> Shout out Scott the Cha-Ching King because I live for his comments on Friday right? nights. I love right. it. He's, he's I love it. so funny. Gosh, is he funny. So, yeah, he's great. Yes. All right. What's another live that we've added? Because we sure didn't stop it too. 
<laughs> so every other Sunday at 9 p.m., we do a reseller reset. And it's kind of started because we were all like in a slump and we were trying to get back on track and get our calendar synced and like really plan out our time. Like we, I had a personal goal that I needed to use my Google calendar more and use my time blocking. I know it's something that you guys want to do too. And Molly, you were just getting your, your tablet schedule up and going, your little planner app. So it was more so like for us. And yeah. we were like, well, if we're going to meet, we might as well do it with other people too. So yeah. let's throw it up we're there. we're always getting show... questions about like time blocking and how you schedule yeah. your days. And I'm like, well, why don't we just do it live? Yeah. Let people mm -hmm. see the real deal as we get ourselves set for the week. And it ain't pretty. I like, it is real. Love it. It is real. <laughs> it is real. And it's so great because when we do it live like that, we can, people can ask questions. We can share mm -hmm. screens um it's a lot of you know demoing and show you new what you know libby shows a lot of how she used google tasks and the different things that integrate with her calendar and i show my time blocking and how i have to schedule when my family eats otherwise they will mm -hmm. starve to death and <laughs> molly actually showed us recently she taught libby and i how to set up a, an appointment schedule within google yeah, like who'd have thought that was ever gonna happen? Oh, that was a oh. big deal. I mean, we had yeah, people waiting Google for calendar. her to show it because, like, <laughs> they knew this was huge. Yeah, huge. I'm like now integrating it on my website and like doing all this really <laughs> cool stuff with it. It's a big right? deal. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, we just showed the different ways that we do our own schedules because we all do it very differently. We all mm -hmm. use different. Um, ideas and ways of keeping ourselves accountable to ourselves and mm -hmm. how we organize our week out and how that flows. So and we, we share all, have, all that. Yeah. Different ways of doing it, but like mm -hmm. crazy schedules. Like we know all of you have, like we're balancing, we're full-time resellers, right? Like we are full-time resellers that have a podcast and YouTube a channel community and, and a YouTube. community <laughs> and, okay. you know, and then and consulting. And coaching and consulting and all of these projects. So, <laughs> you know, part of these projects, we have to coordinate, like some of you have to coordinate with your families. Like we have to, like, we're in three different geographical locations. So, you know, I put something on the schedule. I have to make sure Molly and Samantha are available at that time. Like, how do we manage all of that and then run our own separate businesses beside that? Like it gets, it's a little convoluted. Um, so I think if, if we can do it and we can bring that to you and we can show you those tips, not that we do it perfectly, but if we, if we can show you mm -hmm. those tips and tricks of how we can do that and yeah. balance our family lives as well, um, anybody, anybody can do it. Like we, we are there to be real authentic, show you our real schedules, our real lives, our real struggles and, I look forward yeah. to it. I look forward to it to get me set for the week. Well, what it's done for me is it's made me now do it every Sunday night, whether it's our biweekly live or not. Um, whereas before I would wait until Monday morning and I am so much happier going to bed Sunday night than I, and I sleep better because I didn't realize how much Monday would lay stress on me. Like, oh my gosh, it's the work week. Am I ready? Now I go mm -hmm. to bed Sunday night and I know I'm ready. I've got it all lined up in my calendar. I've got my bullet points of the major to do things. I've got them lined up in importance order and I'm ready to go when I wake up Monday morning. So I am so glad we're doing it. Um, I am glad we're doing it biweekly because um, I like to have to do it myself too. Like mm. I'm, it's kind of, I, I get, proud of myself that I'm still doing it, whether we're meeting or not. So it's kind of a cool, like, way to go, Molly, you did it, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. I'm no longer waking up. Like Mondays were, I mean, you guys have heard me say, like, do not schedule me anything on a Monday morning because I'm just inundated beside myself. Like, don't know which end is up. And now I'm not like that anymore because right? I already know what's on the schedule. Like, why was it that simple and I wasn't doing it? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, so that's another fun live that we do. And we get, again, we learn from others during that time too because others are sharing the way they do their scheduling and 
giving their own tips and tricks in the comments. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and all of this does not lend itself well to audio um, because we are doing a lot of screen sharing and things like that. Mm -hmm. But if you think, if you are a podcast listener and you think this would translate well to podcasts, if you go on and you're like, yeah, but I would really like to be able to do this on podcasts, there are things we can set up. Give us that feedback. I'm happy to have it. Like yeah. if you go watch it and you're like, yeah. you know what I would have preferred to listen to, or I only listen to podcasts. Um, I tried it out. Let us know because I don't yeah. want to put stuff up on podcasts that is not you know, valuable. audio friendly and not providing yeah. value. So that is why they have not made it to podcast. And that is why we do the majority of them on YouTube, like lives and stuff. I think a lot of times they just don't translate well because we're in the comments and we're, you know, talking to people real time. But if yeah. you disagree, absolutely let us know. I see a lot of podcasters that do go ahead and, and put their lives out as, as a weekly podcast or as like a, a bonus episode. So I, I'd be yeah. interested to know what our audience thinks. I agree. So what you're going to do right now, not if you're driving, because I know a lot of people podcast while they drive. So don't, don't just, when do. you, as soon as you get <laughs> to the point where you're stopped, you're going to go right on over to YouTube. And if you don't have an account, just quickly make one, look up C chat, look up consignment chats. And just go ahead and subscribe and click the bell for notifications because then you'll get notified whenever we go live. So you'll get a little mm -hmm. notification that we're going live. So if you forget, I'll remind you and just give it a shot for a little bit and let us know because we do, like Libby said, we want to provide the best for our seat chatters and yep. no matter which platform you listen to us on. So we're always open for good critiquing good suggestions. Yeah. Cause it was never about like excluding, you know, getting people over to YouTube. It's not about getting people over to YouTube. It's just providing the best content right. we can on each platform. So I, I'd be very interested to know. And we know there are a lot of you out there listening that have not left us a review on Apple podcasts. I think now you can leave a review on Spotify that helps us out immensely. Um, we know a lot of you listen week after week. So if you could take two minutes and go on and leave us a review, uh, it would let us bring that to more people and boost us up on search. Or if you have a friend that you think might be interested in what we have to say, please share it. Pass share it away. Along. <laughs> share the love. Share it away. These yeah. little things make a big impact on what we do and our ability to share, continue with the free content. So, yeah. And I mean, so many suggestions we've, we've gotten from people. That's why we developed motivation in minutes. Um, that's why we kind of changed our, um, our audio equipment. That's why we've done so many of the <laughs> things is because of feedback we've gotten. That's why we do our masterminds in Patreon. That's why we moved our list of Palooza to Patreon. It was all because- you That's why we Patreon. added the Starbucks gift card back into our gifts. <laughs> oh yeah, right? Patreon that was some good- For yes. list of Paloozas. Our people spoke will, and said, bring them back. <laughs> yeah. We will always offer gift cards now, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. so if yeah. you have a critique, if you have something that you think will make it better, believe me, reach out. There is no offense ever going to be taken uh, to constructive criticism and things you have to say. We want to make this the best we can, the best we can for all of you um, to get the most benefit out of it. So go ahead. Have at it, my friends. Gosh, I feel like I should vote for Libby. I don't know. She's got this like voice going I on right now that's like a, like she's like doing a speech for an election. Vote Libby. I'm over here. <laughs> I'm over here giggling because she's like, that's why we got new equipment and new headphones and new equipment was because of the feedback. And she means comments feedback. But really, it's because of the audio feedback and my little, yeah, okay. It was funny. It was yeah. both. Yeah. All the feedback. All the feedback. All the feedback. <laughs> puns intended. As always, your puns are intended here. Yes. So those are our three lives that we added in most recently that we do and love doing them and would love to have you guys join us. Yeah. And I hope that you too see the value and the why mm -hmm. as to why we decided to add them and that you see the value in it too. So, all right, my friends, until next time. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for joining Libby, Molly, and Samantha, the ladies of consignment chats as we build a resourceful community of collaborative resellers. Find all the ways to connect with us on consignmentchats.com.
Episodes are available on YouTube and anywhere you get your podcasts. In addition, join our free private Facebook community.